has to return error for a three ton system. Less than 14, about 10. Duck board. What do you guys see what I do with this? It was close, but we got it all in there. All the duct work and an AC system. Alright, I just want to do a quick update. Here we are, day three. Got about 17 man hours on this. Two guys. Got all the duct ran, the main duct. Came out pretty cool. This is the return air. Got the supply here. This is another return air. Catching the living room, back bedroom. And then this is the other bedroom here. Because it's a manufactured home, they got this beam. Where we could have just panned all the joists, so we had to run another plenum here. Ninety over. You're gonna come under the supply. Reattach it here. Eighty thousand BTU. Ninety-six percent two-stage variable speed blower. My favorite setup. Media cabinet. Bottom box. With this box, it's to bring air in from the side <laughs> and the bottom. It's the best setup you could have. New design. So, probably do another video once it's all started. Here's the outdoor unit. This will be our constant comfort 16 sear. It's the upgraded. I don't think you can see it in there. It has a compressor blanket for sound, high and low safety switches. And then this year they made a change to where it'll communicate. So now it has communicating capabilities. So we're going to put the ion stat and have a communicating system. I wanted to point out real fast that. Just because it's a 16 sear, if you're not matched up correctly with the indoor section, you, you only get 14 sear. Your customer may not be getting the efficiency they're paying for. In this case here, we have a three ton condenser and to get 16 sear efficiency, it actually calls for a four ton coil with the new 96% variable speed blower and that gets us the 16 sear rating. So you just gotta watch how you match these systems together. So we should be starting this early next week. These are our white sidewall cold air return grills. And what this does is it gets placed at the lower end of the wall. Uh, if you have a cold air return wall and it's high up in the wall, um, this will allow you to isolate that. So this would go at the bottom. And then as you open it in the winter time, this flange comes up here. It actually cuts off the top section of the wall so you only draw cold air return from the bottom. So this would be used in heating season. And then in summer you would just close it. And you can draw your warm air in from the top. Uh, it makes your system a little more efficient. So we're going to go ahead and get these installed. Just finished installing the cold air return for the bottom. So as you see we got the one at the top. This would be your summer setting. And then if you come down here, this is for the winter. So right now it's closed. So we just opened it. And what that does is it cuts off the top section of the wall. Allows you to pull the cold air down from here for heating. Close it like that. And then you're only going to pull the top warm air in the summertime. It's the best setup you can have.
finally finished. 100%. Everything taped, sealed. There's a cold air return underneath this beam. As you can see. Holy moly. A lot of work here. Humidifier. Furnace media cabinet. A lot of work here. Here's the outdoor setup. 16 sear, signature series, constant comfort, communicating AC. Homeowner went above and beyond with the pad. Very nice job.